Hey guys, my name is Viper Owen. Uh, my name. And welcome back to Valhalla. <laughs> I'm leaving right where we left off. Still wearing the same shirt. Um, uh, this guy is still waiting patiently, looking at me. <laughs> um, uh, also, like right after I stopped recording, I I clicked on this. This doesn't match the the wall. No. We watch. We protect. Is that RoboCop? <laughs> That's the news. Ugh. Five. $59.99 for popcorn. I hope that's not how much I have to pay. I am going to see the movies tonight. I'm going to watch Logan and Get Out. That's probably why I'm, I'm recording like so much. Even though talking to that guy for half an hour hurt my voice. I, I thought it would be quicker, but it, it's fine. It's just quick conversations are just, okay, hi, and then bye-bye. But like actually getting to know the person and then them coming back, we can just say, hi, we're friends. So this guy, and I, I, I do like making the voices, even though they might hurt my voice. It, it's worth it because it, it makes uh, it makes it my own series and the, the way I want to play it and the way the characters sound to me. Big gut punch. Wait, <laughs> no. <laughs> Let's not do a sexy voice, no. Or maybe I should do the voices based on like what drink they get. So a big gut punch. Big gut punch, fast. <laughs> I'll make him sound like he's choking every time he's talking. All right. A gut punch. Okay. A gut punch. Five Bronson extract. One, two, three, four, five. And one Flabobstro blue. Optional karma try, which means zero. <laughs> it, it should say that. All aged and mixed. Ooh. It's supposed to mean a punch made of innards. Oh, ooh, this guy isn't really scaring me. Well, because the <laughs> the menu is in front of his face, I can't see him. But the name actually describes what you feel while drinking it. The gut punch, so it kind of hurts. Oh, it's bitter, manly, and strong. Uh, blah? No? Oh, so this one has to be... This one has to be longer than five seconds? <laughs> it just mixes forever. <laughs> that doesn't work. The one before it didn't work. Um... Hashtag, you hashtag, but equals... And I think it's really cool that you control the music. I mean, like, sometimes when I'm in the middle of a conversation, I don't even, like, pay attention to that. Kind of distracting. It was a Friday night. I made a wrong drink. He yelled at me. Most times, you you just mix it with the ice. I do that when I get a daiquiri. Well, straw uh, virgin strawberry daiquiri. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five... Whoa there. Nope, that's not what I'm supposed to add. <laughs> Caught myself there. Okay. No! Da! Ah, yes! Got punch! <laughs> I'll just throw it at him. <laughs> hmm. You can actually do it then! Humph! This crack house is a bar? Hellhole. Crack house. <laughs> It smells like dog urine and soap. How the hell do you expect someone to feel comfortable in here? Well, you smell like both of those, so you'll blend right in. I'm surprised you decided to come to our little crack house at all, mister. <laughs> mister. What the hell do you care? The payment registry says... <laughs> Sorry for the question then, Mr. Ingram McDougal. Is his name tag anywhere? I know him? Sorry about the smell. We're working on fixing it. There was an incident over the weekend. But it's... But it's Tuesday! Aw, oh, I knew something was gonna go wrong on a Tuesday. <laughs> Please, let me know what I can do to make your experience more pleasant regardless. If I pay you, will you come with me to a motel for a couple hours? Oh, I have to work. No. Then I have no use for you beyond giving me drinks. Hey, I, I know how to make you more comfortable, give you a better voice, so you don't sound like you're dying. <laughs> May I ask why you decided to come to our bar then? Somebody recommended me this place and I have absolutely no idea why she likes it. She says she's a regular here and all and I'm starting to doubt her tastes. A regular? Can I ask who? No. <laughs> I just did though. I'll concede one thing. Whoever picks the music at least has decent taste. Yay! He likes the music too! So, any other feedback you want to provide the establishment so we can enhance your customer experience? <sighs> no, nothing. <laughs> That's an interesting change of heart. <laughs> can I get you anything else? Give me a pile driver, please. Ooh! So, you're still not scaring me yet. A pile driver. It doesn't burn as hard as the tongue, but 
You better not have a sore throat when drinking it. I can't have it right now, then. Let's give him more. <laughs> one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Eight. One, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, God. <laughs> Yay, a pile driver. I gave him double here. It's fine, I guess. Hey, lady, have you ever faked an orgasm? Not myself, no. <laughs> I'm sorry, I think I heard wrong. I asked if you ever faked an orgasm. Oh, yeah. That's a question I'm not gonna answer. I'll take that as a yes. I was just thinking about how good a lie can be. I mean, even the most sincere of people lie once in a while. I don't lie, what are you talking about? I'm sincere. Lies can buy you time. Lies can make you happy. Reality will come crashing through the door eventually. Did that rhyme? But for you that moment the, but but for that moment the lie can give meaning to you. I say lies are like a porn your porn stash. You know they exist, but you shouldn't acknowledge them. Does that mean you've really faked orgasms? Cuz you look like you have a lot of experience. Still, that's quite the random thought to just suddenly have. Are you perhaps lying about something right now? Not really. I was just thinking about how people... About people making polite comments about this crack house. Of course you were. Hey, I'm gonna need another drink here. Already? Don't you think you're drinking a bit quickly? That's my problem, not yours. Give me a fringe weaver. Fringe weaver? Alright. Uh. <laughs> it's like <laughs> okay <laughs> or do you want double that <laughs> one eight four five six seven eight nine more 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 <sighs> I'm gonna kill him I'm gonna kill someone tonight <laughs> that's how you'll feel later <clears throat> aged mix done yeah! A Ferns Weaver. <laughs> Looks like a bug. Kind of. I don't know. Okay, here you go. Try not to drink it too fast. That's up to me. <laughs> it looks so... It, it was it was like pink and stuff. Hey lady, have you ever felt empty? Empty how? Like, hungry? No, no, I mean empty like there's a part of you missing. Can't say I particularly have. I just feel like there's this part of myself that lacks something. An urge to get or do something that I just can't satisfy. Have you tried taking up a hobby? It might not solve your problems, but it might keep you busy enough to avoid thinking about it. Any suggestions? Well, collecting stuff, reading, bungee jumping, combat sports, exercising, exercising all at the same time. Sounds a lot cheaper than the alternative. Which is... Bitches and alcohol. <laughs> I tried sex tourism once. It was like a bloody Russian roulette of STDs. So I left midway through. <laughs> I once burned my Christmas bonus hiring three, wi three women for an orgy. Porn is more amusing and way cheaper. I've also hired a girl to act like my daughter for a day for three years in a row now. Nothing seems to do it. <laughs> You should try different things, please. Have you tried rescuing a puppy? You can't fuck puppies. At least you shouldn't. What the f- What is wrong with you? I'm drawing a blank then. I can't think of anything that might help. I wasn't expecting you to help me. Or to believe me. He was lying about all that stuff. I could have been lying through my teeth this whole time. People lie, lady. Anyway, I'm leaving now. The smell is killing me. Please come again. <laughs> Don't count on it. Okay, that was quicker than the other guy. I'm glad about it. Some people just don't want to have a conversation. He's, he's one of the worst people. So, he, he just left me with a, a question and, like, no answers. Did Was he lying about all that stuff? Oh! Boss, I'm gonna take my break. All right. Yes, I can save. Yes, I'll save in the third one.
I can save in both of them. Okay, no. No. Uh, those are a lot of save ones. <laughs> I'll just hide this one right there. A couple days later... <laughs> I'm still standing here. Uh, I, I, I took a break uh, a couple days to ha let my voice recover. No, I'm making it sound so serious, but it's not. But it, it did hurt a little bit. Th th this is what this, this game does to people. If they record it, you can see how long it takes for their voice to break. <laughs> so I just loaded up my save, so at least I didn't get locked up this time. I can change it? Oh no, I'm ready. <laughs> okay then, back in action! <sighs> Good evening! <laughs> Good eve... <laughs> um, would you mind taking your helmet off? No, I don't want to take it off. Pl please, just take it off. No! <laughs> so, uh, where are you from? From a farmer's market. <laughs> Oh, Zoe, it's so comfortable, I usually forget to have it on. Ah, oh, she's cute. I gave you a guy's voice. I'm sorry. Is this better? Yeah, thank you. What can I get you, miss? Master Specialist. Psy P. Asiguri of the 765th Division. Valkyrie Corpse at your service. Okay. Wait, that's too long. Just call me Sai. What can I get you for? Or what? I, what can I get for you, Sai? Let's see. I'm in the mood for a sweet drink. Oh, but not that sweet, as in cool. Oh, and I also want some strawberries and just go just pick. Although a cool drink would be nice too. Um, but I'm not cool as in great, especially. Not as in big. <laughs> I'll just get you one of everything. Just oh, that's really good. Oh, this tube is weird. <laughs> this just never makes up her mind. Um, sorry. Did you get that? Uh, moon rush. <laughs> a sweet drink, preferably a cold one that's not too big, right? Yeah, that's it. I can do that. Give me a sec. She didn't give me a name. <laughs> I want to get into like the weird drinks. I want to. Uh, well. Oh, you're not feeling bubbly today? Sparkle Star! You're a Sparkle Star! Sparkles! <laughs> um, used to actually sparkle, but too many complaints about skin problem made them re <laughs> uh, uh, We'll make this. Aw. Oh. No! Are there, is that an R and that's an R? I made a Ryber equals... Crap. <laughs> that's not what she wants. Mix blah, sparkle star. Oh, I'm sorry. It just appeared at a, at a big glass. I'm sorry. It's a difficult process. Here. Um, I expected something with ice, but this is gonna ah. Uh, no, wait. I can redo it. You said you're from the Valkyrie Corpse, right? Are you are you the guys who deal with riots and such? Riots? Oh no 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 no. You're thinking the Blitzkrieg Corpse, the one with huge plated suits, right? Yeah, those. No, we're different people. I mean, obviously, we're are different people. But we don't deal with riots or anything. In fact, you could say we deal with their aftermath. How so? It's the how so. I'm an anti-social. I, I, I read a book. Okay, uh, how so? To continue a conversation. To rescue, heal, and protect. We are the angels who soothe those suffering enemy attack. <laughs> We are the light of hope in the darkness of times, the ones who assist the victims of crime. What it means is that our duties mostly... Uh, duties? Include rescuing civilians, healing the injured, and protecting from them... from... stuff. What kind of stuff? <laughs> Burglars, rapists, car crashes, anything that might happen on our watch. Oh no! Someone's stealing! <laughs> I'm also kind of like a firefighter in that I sometimes rescue people from places. And that you're hot. Firefighters are hot. Not just the guy ones. <laughs> you must have seen some shocking sights. Yeah, this one time, I was saving some people from the top of the collapsing building. What, were they at the top of the building? Because I would have just waited for the building to collapse and then just catch them. 
I looked down and I was blown away by how pretty the sky was. It was like a starry sky on Earth. Yeah, that was beautiful. What was happening in front of you wasn't. Oh, and there was this time we were cleaning up the aftermath of a car crash. Yeah. Stay. Okay. Water was pouring out of a hydrant. Wait, did, did you sit on it? No, not that it goes up her ass. No, just to stop it from... No. You finish your drink. Can I get you anything else? Hmm, something classy. A classy drink. Can you be more specific? Classy, 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 classy. <laughs> don't make it too big. Does that work? Sorry, I don't come to bars very often. My drinks usually come in a can. I could try and get you in a can. Uh, no, not get you in a can. Get what I'm getting you in a can. <laughs> Let's see what I can find for you. Okay, classy drink, simple enough. Okay, I type classy. Classic or classy? Ah, uh, getting <laughs> bad touch. Whoa. We're nothing but mammals after. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay, two Bronson extracts, two power delta, two flangerine. Flangerine. Wait, she wanted something small. I, I, she wanted it small. Six, three, and one. Uh, it's not that much. Okay, reset. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> yeah, Brantini. It's classy. It looks classy. Uh, sir. Here you are. Yep, this looks like something Stella would drink. Yay! God, I don't know who Stella is. <laughs> who? <laughs> She's my dearest friend. Not that I don't have others, but she's just the one I've known the longest. She likes these kind of drinks, so I wanted to see what's so special about them. And what do you think? I was expecting something stronger. I like it quite, quite a bit. Say, Miss Bartender, Rybro, what's your name? Oh, Rybro. Hmm? You know my name, now I want to know yours. Why are we being weird about this? Oh, sure, just call me Jill. Rybro. Jill is short for... Jillian! No, that's not right. Jillian! Ju Julianne! Do not call me Julianne, please. I don't know what I'm gonna do if you call me that, but... Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. Did I freak out or something in that awkward pause? No, please excuse me. I didn't want to anger you. If it helps somehow, I really like this place. That actually helps. You're the first person to say something nice today. Thanks. And, uh, do you like my shirt? It's just black, but... Mm, mm. Yours is better. <laughs> what do you like about it? The smell of... Oh. <laughs> You're a weird, weird person. Oh, do, do you like the fan? It's going really slow. Oh, that's what's bugging you. Oh, okay, because the fan's not blowing the smell away. Okay, there's no signal. Wait. Yeah, boxing. <laughs> that's you, Sai. The fist is your words, and that's me. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> My mom used to be a veterinarian, and I used to go to her clinic after school, so the smell takes me back. It makes me feel comfy and nostalgic. Oh, well, I, I guess. Well, ahem. What made you become a white knight instead of a veterinarian, or anything else? It's mostly because of something that happened while I was a kid. A white knight attacked my friend and was coming for me when this other white knight saved us. I don't remember what happened next. I, I just woke up in a hospital with my friend watching over me. But ever since I felt this, this, was my, this was my calling. That I wanted to help people the same way they helped me. Huh. That's interesting, though. What... One would think being attacked by a white knight would make you run the opposite direction. <laughs> yeah, but it was another one that saved me. So I kind of guide myself toward judging everything on an individual basis. It's like when you're watching a YouTuber, they, they like bring so like you're so happy uh, like watching them, or like like their past videos have, and you just like you, you always like just stay with them. Like you, you always want to do the same thing that they're doing for other people, for like your little group of friends or something like that, just to, not like because it's like we need attention or anything, it's just because like, well, like I started because I thought it was like everyone else was doing it, so I, I wanted to start and the music's gonna fade and no one's gonna take me seriously. Okay, so, <laughs> so I, I started it because everyone else was and I didn't 
like I didn't really know if it was gonna go anywhere. I, I didn't really know what I was doing. I just wanted to play like small indie games, and that's still what I'm doing to this day. But I'm a lot more like aware of like like what I'm doing, and like I think it's like I just use I, I use YouTube not in a bad way. Uh, <laughs> I use it to like put myself out there. Like like doing this for almost four years has made me less shy. Like, n no matter how many people watch my videos, I, like, I, like, countlessly recording myself and, like, like, seeing what, like, me on camera and, like, what my voice sounds like, I still say, uh, and I'm from time to time. I just want to always make it feel like I'm always, I'll always be the here for you guys, even if I don't upload every day. I, ju I just, like, I just would like to en entertain some people and, and see where I go from there and... That, like, all of this, like, all that I've done so far has been awesome. Like, there's been so many funny moments and all that, and I wouldn't have the friends that I had if it wasn't for YouTube. So, YouTube has changed my life a bit. Um, it, like, like, I say a bit. Just, like, personal stuff. Not, like, things that will change my life forever. Just, like, like I have more friends, and <clears throat> uh, I'm a lot... Uh, I'm not shy anymore. So, okay, I'm, I'm gonna stop. That was just a little... Rybro's special message. <laughs> so, I kind of guide myself toward judging everything on an individual basis. Well, not to be an extremist extent, but you get me. Yeah, I tried to do the same too. I had too much adult hide. <gasps> Gotta hide! <laughs> Under the table, maybe, so she won't yell at me. Okay, power delta. And one comment right. Oh, this is the one with the smug assholes. Okay. <laughs> Brand team. Did I not make you that? D Here, see? Huh, you were right. Thanks. Yeah, it looks familiar. Uh, d did I make that? I don't remember making that. Or, I, I do remember making that. You know what? I think I'll bring a friend of mine here in a couple days. Really? Why? I like the feel of this place, and I want to share it with her. Well, if she likes the smell of dog urine and soap, then uh, come on in. You're welcome. It might be a bit difficult, though. She's more into, um, classier places. How can we- how- well, how can we make this more classy? Not that this place isn't nice, but- but... But what? <laughs> Don't worry, I know the kind of place I work in. I- I see. But it shouldn't be too bad. I just need to... Check the screen. What was that? It sounded like an explosion. Is that guy in the bathroom done cleaning? <laughs> Maybe he just yelled or something. I better check that. I paid you already, right? Yeah, go ahead. Be careful. I will. Don't slip. She left her helmet. <gasps> oh! Well, if she's coming back, I'll just hold it for her. I'll put it on my head. <sighs> okay. <laughs> I'll go check on what the ever loving hell that explosion was. <laughs> okay, we need explosion finding music. Careful. What? Oh, she woke up. <laughs> where, where am I? Where, where am I? Good evening and welcome to Valhalla. <laughs> that might not have been the best thing to say. <laughs> v Valhalla? Am, am I dead? <laughs> does, does that mean that Uncle uh, Inga's ramblings about the afterlife looking like a shoddy downtown bar are true? Call it! <laughs> Afterlife? Uh, I'm not dead? As far as I can tell, no. To be fair, I, I don't know how death or the afterlife work exactly, but you're breathing, right? Everyone knows how the afterlife works. It, you fall into a chair, and then you see a guy stapling some papers, and then he disappears, and then you do the exact same thing, and you take his place, and then someone else falls. <laughs> All right, then where the hell am I? How did I get here? Who brought me here? What were you planning to do with me? Are you organ traffickers, robbers, rapists, pickpockets? You're a pickpockets, aren't you? <laughs> I'm a bartender. Well, why aren't you saying anything? I'm waiting for you to vent your worries. Otherwise, you'll just... You're rapists, aren't you? Rapists! The whole lot of you! You want to tear my clothes, beat me unconscious, have your horrible way with me, and then brutally murder me, don't you? No! 
Oh, I was still violating every hole in my body as I lay. Why are you still talking? Don't you! Murder, 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 murder. <laughs> I'm not going to, though. You, you know what I will do? I'll chop that little, like, hair off. Because that's bugging me. Interrupt me. Well, this is going nowhere. Let's see if I can get a drink to calm her down. Let's throw her at her face. Think carefully. Give her something that will calm her down. Ooh, we're getting into more, into more difficult ones. A bleeding Jane. Are you bleeding? Trying to calm a woman down. Trying to calm a woman down. Brah! Okay, bleed Jane. What, what is that? It's a murder drink. You're in a bar. Bars serve drinks. Your stuttering makes you suspicious, you know. <laughs> Added anything like that to your drink, they'd dock my pay and tips. Not to mention I'd have to pay any lawsuits myself. And that's the best case scenario. I could get fired and lose benefits or go to jail. And the thought of going through all that is just... <sighs> Let's do something. If you go outside and head just three businesses to the left, you'll find a convenience store. They sell drug tests for drinks. Tell the cashier that Dana Zane sent you. <laughs> she was weird. Two flying cars crashed and went boom. The, the flying cars? Why? <laughs> they could have landed on us. That's why I was so noisy. Any damage? Or any damage? A hole in the street. Don't know about the drivers or anything. Can, can they still get into the bar? <laughs> Did that lady just walk out and fall in a hole? <laughs> I see. Either way, I think I'm done here. Did you check inside the toilet toilet paper's locker? What about Oh my god. How what what how I'm back. You tried to give me bandages at first though. Do, do you like bandages? <laughs> Did you have to pay? No. No problem then. Try it on the drink. S says negative. There you go. But you could be in cahoots with the clerk the clerk in the store, he even knew your name. But you're so difficult. Good point, but first of all, it's not my name, it's my boss's. Second, we we're pretty much part of a chain, sort of like the spicy chicken of bars. <laughs> and finally, I'm not making you drink this, I offered it to you as a sign of peace. I mean, you are right, it is indeed suspicious on my part. Sorry. You can just ignore the drink, go through that door and forget this ever happened. That would be it. You're at peace, and nothing of value would be lost. Not even your glasses. Are you implying something won't have value because- Are <laughs> you saying my presence is so unimportant that my lack of action would yield no difference? Eh. And what about the drink? Are you gonna let this fruit of your work go to waste so easily? No, I- Interruption. Well, I'll let you know I'm not that unimportant and that your work does matter. Yeah, I really wish she did fall in a hole. Um, not sure you should drink at all so fast. <laughs> so, how was it? <laughs> it was fine, but not something I'd order r normally. Are you alright? Yeah, I guess you were telling the truth. Sorry about that. No problem. If I were you, I'd have a problem reacted the same way. I should apologize for my last comment, too. It just came out as insensitive. I guess I'll stay for a while, but I need to get my thoughts in order. Can you tell me how I got here? My boss found you unconscious and brought you here for safekeeping. <laughs> safekeeping? And you were asleep until that car crashed outside. I, I see. I guess it's better to wake up here than on the streets, stripped of clothes, dignity, and or organs. Yeah, I hate when I wake up and I lose a kidney. Where do you work, miss? Kim. Call me Kim. Okay. I don't know if I can say I work yet, though. I'm still just an intern. Can I ask where? Have you heard of a newspaper called The Augmented Eye? Yes! Yes! Uh, the Richard guy <laughs> works. Uh, he is your boss. I read it every morning. In fact, Mr. Donovan <laughs> was here earlier. I knew I smelled his nasty cologne. <laughs> that bastard left his reek wherever he goes. So you believe me? I do. God, you have no idea how much I hate that ka-chop the uh, horse blower. <laughs> Ahem. Harsh words. At one point, I thought about being a bartender, but I was afraid they'd make me wear skimpy clothes and dance or something. 
No, that's a stripper. Here we go, we're good. Well, it depends on where you start working, you know? I guess I was lucky Valhalla didn't end up being a tacky disco overseen DJ with an afro. Yeah, he shaved the afro off. <laughs> My boss just wanted a comfy place, I think. Your boss sounds like an interesting person. What with wanting to put me somewhere safe and all that. She is. She's so cool and collective, but has no qualms about showing excitement and stuff. She also has this mechanical arm. I have no idea how she got it, but... Hey! <laughs> Sorry, I got carried away. It was fun to see you break from the wise bartender character you're using there. I do that? <laughs> It'd be nice to meet this boss of yours sometime and thank her. Shall I call her? She'd be glad to know you're okay. Oh no, I, I shouldn't pester her that way. And besides, it's getting late, and I don't want to abuse your generosity. You can ask for another. Uh, you can ask for another one, although I don't know how much alcohol you can handle. I think I can handle another drink. One brandini, please. Okay, coming right up. Yay! Sorry, a mart. Ah, brand. <laughs> uh, brandini. Okay, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I can't do it that fast. One, two, three. Gotta get good at handling the mouse and moving it. Oh, no. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Yay! Another one. Yep, this seems like the stuff. Cheers. I have nothing to hold. <laughs> hey, Joe. Was this job, like, a lifelong dream or something? Not really. It just kind of happened. One thing led to another, and BAM! Bartending. Do you regret not fulfilling a dream? The only dream I can remember being passionate about was buying a model warrior Julian... <sighs> arcade machine. Can't say I've given up on that one yet, but... Alas, adult stuff needs to be paid for first. You've never had a dream you wanted to chase? Not really. I I'm not a runner. <laughs> I mean, most of my dreams have been silly things or childish dreams. Childish dreams? Having a room where every piece of furniture talks, being a model warrior. I remember I wanted to live in a koi pond when I was seven. The fish seemed to be having a blast to me. So, no dreams? None that I felt particularly motivated to chase, no. YouTuber. I mean, I'm fascinated by AIs, but that just couldn't find it in me to study that. So I picked something I found nice and moved on. And somewhere along the way, I became a bartender. I see. Finally. Those dogs left a mess I'm not gonna forget anytime soon. I mean, how the hell did they throw toilet paper out the window? Oh, a client. Good night, ma'am. Jill, I'm gonna leave early. I need to take care of the smell clinging to my body. <laughs> you probably got some on her, too. Sure. Um, who is he? A ghost. Nobody you should worry about. Oh. I heard that. Why are you asking all those questions? Because now that I think about it, I don't really have a dream job or anything like that. I think we idolize the idea of having a dream job too much. Not everyone walks around with a clear idea of what they want in life. <sighs> some like taking, uh, some take a liking to a job. Others find to have many, ha find it after many failed attempts. Sometimes life takes an unexpected turn that makes you change your plans. What I mean is, don't worry too much about it. Maybe you're right. Well, I'm gonna take my leave now. Thank you for everything. Please thank your boss on my behalf. Bye. Thank you, and come again. And that's it. You're free to go after finish washing up the glasses. Let me transfer you to today's payment. Maybe I'll give Gil a small bonus for dealing with the bathroom. Okay. Wash glasses. Wash. Oh, two mistakes. Oh, I like how I like how it shows my results. Flawless service bonus not granted. How I couldn't move. Here's an extra for helping that girl come down. Ah, 500. Oh my god. Ah, is this like the end of the week or something? It's not Tuesday anymore. It's a better, better day. <laughs> your membership to Shining Fingered will automatically renew on 17th. Make sure your account is at least 800. Yes, I think. 
Bill, uh, Jill is lost in thought about a ho hollow plant. Buying it will prevent her from getting too distracted. Oh, it's Wednesday. Oh, okay, it's the next day. Okay. Well, Wednesday was much better <laughs> than Tuesday, uh, in my opinion, because I don't think the conversation's dragged on too long. But, like, you do get to know more about the character you're talking to. Um, so I think I'm going to have my episode here. I calm down a person. Oh, I love, I lo oh, shop. Oh, I'm at the shop. Oh. Movie poster. Mm. Um. Double click on it to buy it. I want that hollow plant. Shoulder massager. Oh, no, I can do it by myself. Oh, in memory of a real potted plant. Yes. How much is it? Oh, it's 600. I'll still have eight. Oh. Yeah, I still have 800 by the end of the... Oh, end of the week. Okay. <laughs> okay, I have to, like, manage so that I don't run out. Yeah, now I can... Now I'm not as distracted. And when I'm not distracted, I get to be able to do my outro. So, <laughs> thank you all so much for watching. This game is awesome. I can't wait to meet new people and all that. Because that, you, you get to meet the weirdest people and you get to know them so much. Like, like I'm friends, well, with most of them. And like I like the girl was the was an employee for the for the Mr. Donovan guy, so like it's like there's connections and all that, and I I love hearing about that, and I think that's a cat, maybe something. I got the hollow plant. Is that it? So I, I hope you enjoyed. Um, I know this was like one video after, but I am kind of in the middle of like preparing videos because I'm going to my aunt ants this weekend i'm gonna i'm gonna dog sit uh saturday and sunday so well not all day sunday but uh i, I want to prepare videos and there is internet there my my aunt is cool <laughs> uh but uh, I, I might do a follow me around vlog. I, don't know, I haven't done one in forever and i, I really want to and it's, but for now i hope you're enjoying this cool series i, I think it's just something really cool that you can just click on and uh, just continue like exactly where I left off so happy Wednesday <laughs> but anyways thank you all so much for watching and share with your friend and I'll hope to see you in the next one so bye for now Rob Row out <laughs>